Between May 3rd and August 22nd, U.S. 10-year yields rallied from 3.34% to a 16-year high of 4.34%. Now, the push toward higher rates seems to be fueled by a belief that inflation can eventually be tamed without pushing the economy into recession. Now, in recent weeks, we've seen some surprisingly good economic data, particularly in U.S. GDP, which printed 2.4% on July 27th. And now the Atlanta Fed's GDP Now model forecasts an astonishing 5.8% Q3 GDP. Now, all this comes at a time when inflation numbers continue to reinforce the narrative that the worst is over. Some analysts, however, are noticing that a combination of base effect, service sector inflation, and some high-profile union-negotiated wage increases could kickstart inflation fears again. Now, the end of August is slated for some big data days as we get the next look at GDP on August 30th and the PCE on August 31st, which is said to be the Fed's preferred measure. Consensus estimates now are for 2.5% GDP and 0.2% for month-over-month PCE deflator. Now, if a trader believes that yields could head higher from here, they could express that by buying the August micro 10-year Treasury yield futures contract at 4.33, and target a move to the psychological level of 5%. Now, a stop for this trade could be placed below at 3.90. This trade could make $670 if the target is reached and risks $430 if you're stopped out of your level. Now, a reminder here that the yield contracts are monthly, so if you want to keep this position on past August, you'd have to roll it into September before the end of the month. If a trader believes that yields could move lower from here, they could sell that August micro 10-year Treasury yield futures contract at 4.33, and target a move to the June highs of 3.80. A stop for this trade could be placed above at 4.60. Now this trade could make $530 if the target is reached and risks $270 if you're stopped out of your level. 